I just wanted to get on here and do a real quick video of how I pack and ship my fragile wine glasses for mailing to different customers. In this demo, I'm just going to use one single wine glass. Uh, I'm going to let you know what type of box I use, what type of packing material I use, and how I prepare the shipment. So that way you can, uh, especially if you're doing like online selling, Etsy, eBay, whatever, and you sell that type of product, you can make sure it gets to its destination in good shape. I've been doing this for multiple years now, and I haven't had hardly any uh, complaints about my stuff not getting there. So I'm not saying I'm an expert, but I think I'm pretty good at it by now. So, uh, if you like the video, like share and subscribe, and we'll do more videos like this because I do think it's good, helpful information. Cause a lot of people don't know how to ship wine glasses in the mail. So just so you can see, here's the wine glass, nice little birthday queen wine glass that I'm shipping out to a customer today. Let me set that aside. So the first thing I do, I have my box sizes for just a standard 20 ounce wine glass. It's 12 by 6 by 6. This is my go-to box. I first got the box from Uline, and I'm sure everyone's heard of that company. But they cost too much for me. So I'm going to give you the link to this box company that I found on Amazon. Because to me, it's kind of Uline type of merchandise. It's like got the single walled. You know, I know I'm giving a super duper review for a box. But actually, believe it or not, your box is very important. Because you want to make sure it's not just an easily bendable box. But... 12 by 6 by 6, I use my Easy Start Packing Tape, which any packing tape will do. I'm still in the bottom of the box. Any packing tape will do, but I like Easy Start because it's not as loud as a regular packing tape. And I just seal the bottom of the box first. 12 by 6 by 6. Again, here's my wine glass. I'm going to use standard 20 ounce wine glass. So next, I put it in a plastic gift bag sleeve. I put it in there. And I get just some regular packing paper. This isn't anything fancy. This is just regular wrap, you know, like filler paper. I hate to touch the glass here. and I just stuff it on the inside of the glass so basically all we've done I put my care cards in there I stuff some paper on the inside of the glass I put it in a plastic sleeve this isn't anything as much as with trying to help the packing of it yet but I still what I do so Next, I grabbed a roll of bubble wrap. I bought this from Walmart. And it's that type of bubble wrap that has like the perforations on there. I used two sheets of the bubble wrap. I take the glass. It's kind of hard doing this on camera trying to work quickly and I wrap it the two two perforated sheets of bubble wrap and I wrap it around I grab some scotch tape like that so see that's our glass I leave that like that Back to our box. Okay. Now here's where you get into everything. I have pre-cut sheets of this thick, thicker packing paper. And I will 
include it in the link. See? I will include it in the link on what kind I'm using. I got that from Amazon too. So I ball it up. I want to make sure you can see it. That's one sheet. Two. I just put two in there, two more. So I've had a total of four sheets of balled up packing paper. Here's our glass. I'm sticking inside of there like that. Okay, I just pushed it down some. So as you see, we have room on the sides. The bottom's taken care of. Room on the sides, on the top and the bottom. So I got the piece of paper and I'm putting it on the side here. That's the left side. Another sheet on the right side. So far, I have four in the bottom. I have one on the left, one on the right. I have space here and at the top. See, you don't want the glass to be right on the uh, box. You want to make sure that you have room all around the side. So I'm sticking another one. And I use that to go down here and I put some on top. Okay. So, so far we're at seven pieces of paper. This is my eighth and final sheet. I'm balling some up. Here's the top of the glass. I'm covering the top now. And then I'm going to use the excess to go on top of it. So I use a total of eight sheets of paper. Okay. I could put one more sheet of paper, but I think this is good because you also want to keep some of your paper for your next orders. So I'm just going to use the eight. If we get into another video where it's more glasses, of course, that's going to take more paper. But right now, this is good because you still got to take into account when you fold down the sides. That's going to be pretty good right there. Okay, and this is going to be the top of our box. So, we're packed pretty good. I usually include a card with my packages. So I'll print out the receipt and I'll include this business card in there with my, oops, sorry about that. I include the business card in there with my package, close up the box, put the pack and lay or the uh, postage label on top. And I also had this roll and I put that in there, a fragile tape that after the poster's label is affixed on top, I'll wrap the box, the tape around the box that says fragile, and then you're all set. I would show you all of that. You have to weigh your packets, um, but I haven't printed out the labels yet. I just wanted to show you the basic of how you put the, the glass in the box. But when it's all said and done, a package of this weight and this size, this is gonna be uh, approximately one pound, eight ounces. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about anything I showed you, please let me know and I'll do my best to answer it in the comments. One quick last view of what the package looks like.
This is how I end up packing it. After I printed off the label with the packing tape on there, everything's sturdy and secure, and it's ready to go.